to begin. Has everyone had a chance to read the meeting minutes? Yes. From the last yeah. meeting? Okay. Do make a motion. We accept the minutes. I second. I have a motion. I made it. All those in favor? I'll go. I got to take. I got to go down the list. If you're, um, Tom. Yes. Jim. Yes. Bob. Yes. Paul. Yes. Okay. Let's go over to the articles. Um, wait, let me see. Okay, special town meeting articles. We have seven of them. Um, one needs two thirds vote, and um, I think we should read them. I'm not going to read them all. Uh, is everybody in agreement? We can. There's only seven of them. We can read them fast and go through them. Before I do this, Brian, do you want to say anything about this? About any of this? Uh, no, I can give. I can give quick explanations when when we hit them up. Okay, I'll take the first one. Article one. See if the town vote pursuant to general law chapter 44B to appropriate and transfer the sum of $6,500 from the Community Preservation Fund unreserved fund balance for the expansion of the existing ice rink, installation of a smaller ice rink, and for lighting of both rinks or take any other action relative thereto. Do we need explanation? Yeah. Okay. Brian? Um. So this was a this is a proposal from the Recreation Commission to the CPC to do what it says to expand the larger existing ice rink that they do in the winter to a smaller uh, install a smaller one for uh, I guess it's called a kitty rink um, for kids that so they don't get run over by the other kids playing hockey and then for lighting. Where's it gonna be? Um. It's been between the uh, fire station and highway garage the past two winters, I think. They're going to have two there? I think so. Big one and a small one is my understanding. Yep. Well, what was the one that was there? What would that be considered? That's the larger one, really? which isn't really very big. but It really I isn't. The, I thought the same thing. Do we know what that cost, the large one? I want to say somewhere around two or three grand, I think, if I was guessing. So this, but this is also for lighting, right? The yeah. 6,500. What kind of lighting? I, don't know. I would imagine, I think it's probably going to be tower lighting, but it's not going to be permanent. Okay. That was, that's my question. Yeah. So portable. I don't support permanent lighting there, no. Mm -mm. No, but it's portable lighting. Yeah, got to be like so, generators with lights on. So what are we going to rent them? I would guess so. Well, that's not a good answer. No. <laughs> it is not. Okay. Well, um, if we don't know I what the process is for this i think it would be very difficult i think to vote on it i agree i agree I, mean, I want to know if they're renting them or buying them thank you and i also would like to know what the size of this rink is as compared to the new to the existing Now, if they went out and did their homework and got all the specs, they should have all that stuff. If not, then they're shooting from the hip and, and guessing at what they need. That's kind of how it seems. Brian? Yeah, I'm trying to see if the proposal's on the website.
ice rink application in June 2021. Here, I'll share this. Okay. Uh, let me scroll down. Okay. So I'll, I'll, just, I'll summarize it. Plan is to add rounded corners to the rink to increase safety. And these corners will increase the size for the rink by 10 feet, both width and length for a final footprint of 50 by 70. Um, purchase of a kitty rink with dimensions 15 feet by 30 feet for smaller kids. Finally, to make this a facility that can be used after dark, the rec committee would like to purchase LED lights that will provide sufficient light for nighttime use. That's purchase. Purchase. Yep. Hmm. Are they going to be... Uh permanent or are they going to be movable are they going to be towers they're going to have to be movable they can't they can't keep them out in the field during when it's used during the summertime okay and where do they go when they're not in use um I, we'll have to store them somewhere obviously yeah um yeah, yeah. i would imagine there's there's a, a storage container at the highway garage that maybe has some space Hmm. Okay. Um, and they're also going to um, purchase liner. a new rink liner. Yeah. Uh, um, so both both rinks will have a new liner, and we will have lights. And foam bumpers to cushion falls that take place near the edge of the rink. Yeah, those are always fun. Um yeah um i think actually the bumpers are important because they're gonna what happens a lot of times is the, the skates when they hit up against the edge of the rink they can uh, they can puncture the liner right yep so it's to stop that from happening because once you get a hole in it yeah. good luck that's it okay okay i, I guess the only um question i have is there's there's no breakdown here whatsoever of what liners cost oh wait a minute here we go no of no. what liners cost and what um the lighting costs are it's all kind of mopped in together uh meaning that it kind of looks like someone didn't do their homework oh oh, oh, oh. here we go keep going Okay, Take that I back, Paul. a little too soon. Mm. All right. Well, hey, there you go. All right. I'm good. <laughs> There's a good breakdown. Um, I just wonder how they're going to store the lights. And, you know, you know what I mean? You don't have stuff that gets stored away. You know, finds a way to grow legs. And... Uh, That'd be my only concern. But any other comments on this? Any other questions? I'm going to take a vote. Okay. Let's start with Tom. Yes. Jim. Yes. Bob. Bob. Bob, you there? Bobby fighting Kevitz. What happened to you? Oh, man. Yes. Oh, go. hey. Yeah, Internet's hoagie. great when it works. Put that hoagie down. All right, Paul. Oh, yes. wait. I'm trying to get the pregame on. All right. Hey, stop. Don't. Don't. don't I need do the that. closed caption on. Okay. Article two is going to be Tom Maha. Please read that. I don't have it in front of me, so you can All read right. it, Paul and Taya. Right. I'll read it. I'll read it. All right. All right, go ahead. 
to see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of 4509 from available funds to the public hearing revolving fund, blah, 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 to pay for unreimbursed expenses in that account or take any other action relative thereto. Brian? Yeah, so this is an issue uh, we've been trying to address for a while um, with the planning board and zoning board. Um, their, the administrative fee that they collect or the filing fee that they collect doesn't cover the cost of advertising for the public hearings. So this is a housekeeping item. This is a housekeeping item. We've been trying to have them change their procedures and regulations for a while. We finally got them to do it in a way that makes sense. It makes sense that the applicant should pay the total cost of the public hearing advertising fees. Um, part of this, uh, part of this amount is when the ZB, well, in this case, when the ZBA um, erroneously advertises a public hearing, um, we can't make the applicant pay twice. Um, so the ZBA has to eat those costs. Moving forward, they should probably include something in their budget to cover this um, as like a contingency or something. But um, there, there's no corresponding revenue when that happens. So this is a revolving account, right? So it's in and out. Um, but this is this is something that's that's been addressed going forward. But we do need to clean it up. Okay. So Any let's just let's get just be a one off. Um. Yeah, because uh, we've had the planning board and zoning board uh, adopt regulations that require the applicant to pay the total cost of the advertising before they will open their public hearing. Okay, so we won't see this ever again. Better not. That's good. That's good. Okay. Okay, are we ready for a vote? Tom? Yeah. Yes. Jim? Yes. Bob? Yes. Paul? Yes. Okay, Article 3. Jim, would you be able to do that, please? <laughs> I'll try. I'm reading it from my phone. Yeah, from me, I'm oh. trying to do the same thing. Sorry. To see All if right. the town will vote to appropriate the sum of 107911 from available funds for the purpose of making certain accessibility improvements to Hurlehe Park, including but not limited to paving and striping of the driveway slash parking lot and renovation of the toilet facilities. And that Hurlehe Park is dedicated to active recreation purposes as authorized in blah, 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 as the select board be authorized to file on behalf of the town of Waitley any and all applications deemed necessary for grants and or reimbursements from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts deemed necessary under the Urban Self-Help Act and or any other others in any way connected with the scope of this article. And the select board be authorized to enter into all agreements and execute any and all instruments as may be necessary on behalf of the town of Whitley or take any other action relative thereto. Okay, thank you. Brian, would you like to do? Sure. Give us a, a I'll give you the, so I, I tried to explain it in the email. I, I don't know if I did a good yeah. job or not. So we applied, the town applied for a grant and it was awarded for $65,000. Um, the town is responsible for the remaining 45,000 to complete the project. Um, the plan is to use CPA funds for the, for the town match at 45,000, but because of the timing issue, we can't apply till December and we can't vote that until April. Um, but for the purposes of the grant, we need to show by December 31st that we have the money. Um, so that's what this article would do. There's no intent to spend this money because um, it's going to be capital stabilization money or free cash money. Um, mm -hmm. So we would vote CPA funds in uh, next April. And then the project grant funds aren't going to be available till June 2022. So we don't, so the timing works to get the CPA funds appropriated in April, we can spend them in June. And then once the project is done, we'll vote to rescind this article. But to get the grant, we need to show that we, 
we essentially have the money available. Okay. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's 22 and 22 and some change in CPA funds. And then the state covers the rest because the CPA is, is half matched. So. Yep. So we get a hundred thousand dollar plus project for 22 coming out of CPA funds. Right. Okay. Any further, any further questions for Brian regarding this? I have a question. I, I think this would be a perfect situation to have a mock-up of what you're going to have do. Not just say you're going to do improvements, but what are the improvements going to look like? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can say we're going to go down and pave it and we're going to do this. That's great. But it would be, if you had something to look at and people could put their fingers on, I think it, which I don't, I think this will pass anyway, but I think with something like that, I think it would be a total sell. Yeah. And if well, you we more, you probably could do it. Yeah. I think it's a good, um, yeah, I agree. It's a good point. And we have time to do that. They have time to do that. Let's put it that way. Um, they can put that into uh, um, a visual. A yeah, visual would be awesome. You know, for the town. Okay. Okay, Article Three. We'll take to a vote. Tom. Yes. Jim. Yes. Bob. Yes. Paul. Yes. All right. Paul, I can read Article Four on my. Oh, th oh thanks, Tom. Jeez. Article Four. To see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of seventy-five hundred dollars from available funds to pay for the engineering and design costs of sidewalks to be constructed on Chestnut Plain Road and at the elementary school, and other safety improvements on town roads. Okay. Self-explanatory, or Brian, is there a curveball in here? Uh, no, it's pretty self-explanatory. We have a, a second complete streets grant for 165,000. Um, mm -hmm. The only thing the grant doesn't cover is engineering and design costs. So this is going to pay to finish the sidewalk from the, the town hall to across from the church and the crosswalk mm -hmm. there. It's going to extend the sidewalk at the elementary school from where it is now um, out to the street. And then there's going to be uh, some intersection or traffic calming measures at the intersection of Conway and Williamsburg Road to try to slow vehicles down as they uh, come through that intersection with Poplar Hill and Weber, that area there. Yep. Um, okay. That'll be interesting. Poplar Hill and Weber, what are they going to do there again? They're going to take uh, a ditch across the road to slow the cars down. Speed bumps. <laughs> speed yeah, bumps. Speed bumps. We had a request for speed bumps on Poplar Hill Road, by the way. Really? Wow. Not on Christian Lane? Not yet, no. <laughs> that was when the railroad tracks were rough. That was your speed bump. Oh. Okay. So just, just so I can be clear, because I'm going to have to look at it, uh, what is going to happen on Weber Road again? Nothing on Weber. It's going to be more at the intersection of uh, Conway Road and Williamsburg Road. Oh, okay. Then you'll um, have a little mission creep. Yeah, but they, I mean, we walked the we walked Weber Road and the Weber, uh, Weber Road Conway Road intersection there. There's not really much you can do with the grade that Conway Road yeah. meets Weber. No, um, right. so it's a tough spot. Yeah, it's a tough spot, but uh, and. And Poplar Hill Road and Conway Road is a tough spot too because there's a pretty big elevation change. Yeah, yeah. So, but but it adds to the magic of everything up here. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right. Um, uh, uh, any other questions for Brian on Article Four or comments? Okay. If not, we shall go to a vote. Tom. Yes. Jim. Yes. Bob. Yes. Paul, yes. Okay, Article 5. 
to see if the town will vote to repurpose $9,618.75 of unexpended funds appropriated under Article 3 of the December 1st, 2016 Social Town Meeting to include the design and construction of a pumping station to be located off Chestnut Plain Road and associated pipes and infrastructure in order to connect the Whitley Water District's water supply system to the Whitley Water Department's water supply system and for all costs incidental and related thereto or to take any other action relative thereto. Okay, so it's the Water Department. Uh, Brian, anything that, um, unusual about this? No, just, a, just an update on the project. Uh, there was a snag when we were trying to get the easement from Conquant. There was a title issue with, with their deed uh, that was remedied, but it took like eight months to get the curative deed filed. Mm -hmm. um, so the easement's been signed and granted to the town. The special permit's been issued. And I think uh, the Highway Department and Water Department, I think they, they cleared out some trees the other day. So that building is going to start now, or it's ongoing now. So it's been a long process, but they hopefully okay. have the building up before winter and then they can keep working on it inside over the winter and hopefully we'll have the connection made by the sometime in the late winter, early spring. Okay. Any other questions or comments for Brian? Or yeah. Why did it take five years? <laughs> Didn't we live it together? I don't know. Unexpended funds are for five years. <clears throat> well, there may poor be a few more. Poor planning. Well, try all you all you, all you can do is try. Yep. Um, okay, I'm going to take a vote. Article five. Tom. Yes. Jim. Yes. Bob. Yes. Paul. Yes. Okay. Article six. Bobby, can you get that one? Yep. To see if the town will vote to repurpose forty. I like that word, repurpose forty seven hundred dollars of unexpended funds. Appropriated under Article 21 of the 429-14 annual town meeting to include making improvements to the athletic fields at Hurley, including but not limited to dugout improvements at the small baseball diamond or to take any other action relative thereto. So it makes five years look good. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So this is just taking the money that we haven't spent. Yeah. That they appropriated yeah. for something right. else. I, I remember that. So what are we gonna what are we what are we gonna repurpose it to? Um I was told that they want to have funds to uh keep up on the I don't know what it's called, the 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 infield dirt on all the fields. It doesn't say that on here though. Uh, well, it. <laughs> talk, well improvements at athletic fields, and then they want to do some maintenance work on the existing dugouts. The original money was for uh, I know I know what foundations the or dugouts, for. right? And then I remember that it was too close to the property line. Yeah, for I don't remember the the the, the guy's name who owns the property. Uh, pretty much all of the frontage of Hurley, but uh, well, there's actually there's actually a lot right there that. Wow. Yeah. So they couldn't get a variance from the ZBA to put the foundations for those dugouts. Hmm. So the dugouts rotted in the parking lot, essentially, hmm. for years. Okay. So this money is just to put dirt on the infield. Pretty much. And then to make improvements to the, uh, the, the existing dugouts that are there to maintain them. Okay. All right. Any, any other questions or issues concerning this? dugout thing. All righty. We'll take a vote. Tom? Yes. Jim? Yes. It's for the kids. Bob? Yes. Yeah. Paul? Yes. All right. Number seven. Jim, this two-thirds. Can you take this one? No? To see, to see if the town will vote to amend the town of Waitley zoning bylaw and zoning map Established under Article 171-4 to rezone the following parcel from the agricultural slash residential district one to the commercial district in order to allow for more commercial uses to be carried out on this parcel. Parcel number one, assessor's map ID number 
12-0-24-1 State Road or take any other action relative there too. Okay. We need a two thirds vote. I hope we get it. Okay. Well, it's um, two thirds at town meeting. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, where is it? Um, yeah, Wendelosky on State Road, Wendelosky. I'm trying to bring it up. Oh, I know which parcel it is. Yeah. It's uh, just north of. Uh, it's just south of Monahan's piece. It's, uh, yeah, it's just it's yeah, yeah. So it's before the bridge or after south? It's north of the bridge, across from uh, Joe Allard's house. Oh, hmm. um, across from Bobby Devine's house. Yeah, Bobby Devine's house. Okay, near the stockade. That one, I think. Okay. Yeah. 24 is Monahan's. 24.2 would be Wendelowski. Just, it's just one parcel? Yeah. That's all they have listed, yeah. Yeah. So it's between the house and Monahan's. There's a, he grew tobacco there in the last couple of years. Right. There's, and there's, a tobacco a, there's, a, there's a tobacco burn there. <laughs> Yeah. And the planning board's in back of this, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, somebody must have a plan because it's wet there. Hmm. Like really wet. Is I don't it? Know what his plan is. Oh my God. Hmm. Which, which, um, which plot number is Mo Monahan's again, Tommy? 24. Oh, 24. Okay. 24 and 24 dash one. Okay. He owns both of them. He owns both of them. Okay. All righty. Any other questions about Article 7? No. Okay. All righty. I'm going to take a vote on this, Tom. Yes. Jim? Yes. Bob? Yep. Paul, yes. Okay. Um, all right. Anything else, Brian, that you'd like to, we need to discuss in regards to this issue? issue I don't issue. think so. Okay. Thank you. All righty. Um, just uh, let me switch gears here real quick, staying with the agenda, and we'll try to get through this. Um uh financial reporting and transparency did everybody have a chance to see that um email I sent out earlier yeah, today briefly. later okay. in the day okay yeah very late in the day um so um anyway it's just just a um a look a first look at what things might look like when it gets on to the finance the fincom section of the uh of the Waitley oh thanks um yeah um the Waitley website so um let's just talk about the actual what's going in here okay is if you re and what needs to go in here uh so a few points you got in this particular chart and the numbers within compensation um Still need to get figures. And the last time we had a discussion, did we say we wanted to have it payroll and benefits all tied in together? I believe so. That's yes. the way okay. I figured mine. Yep. Okay. What, all right. What okay. benefits that we could identify and yeah. Right. Okay. Good. Um, public works. Um, now this is Dan's end of things, and I know he's done quite a bit of work and so, so I, I just used the number 45 miles because I, I remembered it was about then about that amount um, and I know Dan is going to be plugging in the healthcare costs and we'll be able to finalize that number so that's good so we're all set there I don't know why don't, uh, why don't you just drive around and see how many miles <laughs> during a day <laughs> yeah get a list of the roads 
Yeah. Hey, can I use your truck to do it? Yep. Okay. There's, two, there's, there's 219,000 miles on it. You're not afraid to drive it. Nope. I can. I'll try. I'll learn. Okay. Um, public safety. Tommy, um, I think we agree. Did we agree to separate fire and police? Or did we say I, we're going I separated uh, police, fire, and South County Ambulance. Okay. Very good. Uh, okay. It, and the only – there's – the two there's two full time people on the police department that are on our health insurance. Yep. There's no one on the fire department that I know of, and South County it's all goes through Deerfield, so it's part of our assessment. Okay. Uh, so I have that all. I have it broken down. You know, like the police one is right. The general budget is two hundred and forty thousand. Uh, plus two guys on health insurance is another twenty six thousand. So it comes up okay. to one hundred fifty six dollars a year per town resident. Oh, okay. Can you send that to me in an email? Just sure. I'll try. Okay. Thank you. Um, so that's good. Um, Bobby, I went out and I took a look at Whaley Elementary School. I know that uh, you didn't make the last meeting, so. Oh, and I was oh. supposed to get in touch with you, and I didn't do that. So, um, Great. I have not plugged in the healthcare costs for the staff, but in there, the Waitley Elementary School dollars per pupil, those numbers are pretty accurate. Um, that's what we have um, for the last two years. So, um, we can work with those. Um, Frontier Regional High School, those numbers are pretty much on the money as well because healthcare costs are in there. Um, public Works, oh, 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 already talked about that. And um, the last thing is water, and we need to get to Wayne just to find out how, how many gallons are uh, used in so that we get a dollar per gallon uh, amount and we can plug that in. And as I said before, I got to get in touch with Patty about the compensation. And obviously, we'll put those two together and pop that in. Now, if, if I can just, um, you know, down below, finally, uh, if, if this does go on, this in some way, shape, or form will go on. Um, we obviously have to explain why we're, we're doing this. And I just plugged this in. I thought about this. Um, and the... The point of this whole thing is to give the resident taxpayer of Waitley a source to easily determine the spend by department to a constant reference point over time. And those constant reference points, you know, um, they're right there. You see the dollars per resident, pupil, mile, or gallons. And obviously they'll fluctuate, but you always have a solid reference point to compare the spend to, which we don't now. All you do now is look at one number to the next year's number and look at the increase. Okay, what does that mean? Well, obviously you see the increase, but what does that mean per resident? What does that mean per mile? And that's a fixed number for the most point. And I think it will give us all a better sense of the direction and if there are anomalies, that occur um, in some of these budgets, I think it'll pop up real quick. So um, that's that. Any questions, any thoughts? I don't know how it's gonna look. I don't know what you guys think. You think it's better just to put a chart out there like table one, or you think that there should be like um, like the bar graph or some kind of a graph like the top one or together? Depends, depends on who's looking at it, if they know how to yeah. read a graph or not. Right. I mean, right. I mean, exactly. that's so you never know. The simpler, the better, I believe. I, well, the less, I, if, yeah, you don't want to, you want to make it, you don't want a lot of gray areas. No, you don't want to make it too complicated. Nope. Well, nope. you're busy. Yep. So, and, and you know, there's going to be at least one resident that's going to be anal enough to want to try to <laughs> tie the individual departments. To yes. the total town budget, so we've got to right. warn them ahead of time that it's not going to tie. Right, right. 
Exactly. I don't know how to how to verbalize that, but. Um, well, I think I think well, just some of this makes the um, administrative in the departments more. Uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Uh, attuned to their spending. Accountable. Yeah. Accountable. Yep. Yes. Not Absolutely. just saying this. And then you're like, and I'll, I'll we, can, we can pick on John Hannum because we always do. And, you right. know, I need money for this and spend it on something else. Even though everybody, even though everybody else does that. <clears throat> John Hannum's the, you know, he's the, he's blatant. Yeah. Right. He does. Well, he tries hard. Yeah, okay. He does. Um, just as a point in regards to, in regards to, the comparative between these numbers and the budget number that gets um, what I did here was take the actual um, budget numbers that were voted on town floor. So I took that number and simply divided it by number of residents. So if someone were to ask for general government, $271 per resident. How did you get that? Say, well, just multiply that by the number of residents that we have in town. And yeah. that comes up and that comes up to what was voted and approved for on town floor. Um, now the gallon, you know, we'll have to see how the gallons work out and how the compensation, and obviously the compensation is going to be a different, um, a different um, comparative here because of, uh, well, we'll have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see what the total is on that. But, um, Paul, but generally speaking, yep. I thought we added health insurance into general government, for example. General government without health insurance, you know, is a different, obviously a different number. And I thought yeah. we, so I think that happens in other departments as well. Right. So are you saying we're doubling up on the health insurance? If, if, now, I'm just saying if we take, let's say there's five or six departments here that add up to, let's say $2 million, whatever it is, yeah, yeah. The, the total town budget is not going to be the same total as what right, these right. five or six departments right, add up. Right, 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 right. Okay, so that, Jim, that's an e excellent point because that should also get, go into the, um, the explanation of what's being presented right what's being what's being presented is again let me write this down actual total cost per department and we can say because department costs are not completely actual because they do not include health insurance health insurance health rate okay that's a good point jim um, so we'll work that in and, um, so I think what I'll do is everybody individually, I'll just send you an email and we'll just exchange emails as to the number for the specific area that you're involved with. And we'll try to be as accurate as we can with that number. Then we'll plug that. I'll plug that in, and I'll work with Brian to see if this is something we can get onto the website and see what he thinks about it. Just, just to clarify, Paul, in my yep. case, I should take the, the uh, health insurance number out of the police budget because you're gonna. It's in general government. Um, hold on a minute. I've only got one body taking health insurance in general government. Yeah, that's not in general. No, police and fire, that's under public safety, and that's not in general government. Well, there, but the we have health insurance as a line item. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In general government, right? Yeah, yeah but they, they don't budget. The, the, the police department doesn't budget their health insurance. No, but it, it, it is a cost to the town. Then you could use that as a percentage of what their if they're just say their budget was two hundred thousand and twenty you know, then you had twenty thousand more to health insurance you take. 
can say 10% of the, the uh, budget is due to health insurance. Right. Mm. See, that's, mm. you know, realistically, it should be the same percentage everywhere. Well, yeah. But well, um, you see what I'm saying, Paul? You're, you're, you're going to have the health insurance expense in there twice. If I put it in in the police department. Yeah, you are. You're right. You will. It's also in the, the regular budget as a line item. Okay, when I look at when I look at the Town of Waitley operating and enterprise fund budgets that were voted on on town floor prior, general government we voted five hundred eight thousand six hundred twenty six dollars. We also voted separately insurance and benefits. Right, that's eight hundred two thousand. Yeah, separately. Yeah, so that's not. In the general government. General government. It's not no. not there. See, that number, and that's why we're calling that number out, and we're taking that number, we're attaching it to departments so that we see the true cost of the department and the position, well, which we don't. So it's just like Wheatley. Now, Frontier is in there, so you don't have to do that, but Wheatley Elementary School we got to take that number that Brian gave us, which was, it's here somewhere, but uh, we have the number, and um, that's the cost per person. 13409 I believe. 13409 That's That sounds pretty darn good. Right. That's uh, right. Um, so are we good? So, Tommy, if you just take that number and add it to the department. That's what I did. Okay, then that's fine. All right. Then I think that works. Okay. And and um and that's and we'll take that number and we'll put that number to Waitley Elementary School when we find out um how many employees um are taking the insurance. Yeah. Bobby, can you get that? I can try. Okay. Okay. I uh, um, yeah, it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, Brian, who should Bob speak to on that? To get a breakdown of the health insurance. Yeah, but at Waitley Elementary, how many employees there are taking the health insurance? Um, I think it was in the spreadsheet that I shared. Yeah, I think it was way back. I, I think it was fifteen. Was it I think it's fifteen? Okay. Fifteen. Yeah, I think nine. it's fifteen and nine. Nine for everyone else. Yeah. 15 people, and that's uh, 13409. Well, yeah, let me resend that email so we have it at the top of our okay. inboxes. All right. Um, you don't want to see my whole email, do you? No, no, mm. please, please, no. And while we're waiting, Jim, so we're good on that on that um, population number of 1537 as of July 1? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. I just want to double check on that. Um, Did you break down the demographics? No. The average age? No. I think the average age in Whaley is well into the 60s. You think you're already you're already there. 
Yeah. Okay. So I've got I've got the email here. Yeah, health insurance thirteen four oh nine per employee, and I don't see the the elementary school. What the head count, Paul? Please. Right. What was that? You you don't see the head count of uh, taking medical. Health? Well, yeah, uh, Brian's trying to find that email, and I thought I printed it out and had it here, and I can't seem to uncover it. But um, with the number of employees at the Waitley Elementary School that are taking health care coverage. I just so wrote down from the last meeting 15. I don't have the email, but I wrote down yeah. 15 from the last meeting. Okay. Okay, so Brian, if you can find that, I don't know if we need it to know. Well, okay. Uh, yeah, mind. And I emailed it uh, too. Fifteen. Town okay. has nine. Town has nine. Yeah. Okay. And Waitley Elementary School has fifteen. Okay. Alrighty. So that's good. So we can plug those in. So the only the last thing is uh, have a conversation with Patty about compensation and see if she's done something with that. If she has some numbers, if not, we'll uh, try to get those numbers ASAP and we'll plug that in and then uh, send it out to everybody after uh, after we've had a discussion, Brian, as to what is feasible to get onto the website. You good? Good. Okay. Any questions? Any thoughts? Any any misgivings? Any any hopes for the Red Sox? Okay. Go Sox. Okay. Go Sox. All right. Uh, do I, have, I think we're all hey, set. I, have, I yep. have one more thing, and I remember saying this before about school lunches. Yep. I want to know how that's this is going to turn out. Because I'm going to guess the school, we're going to end up eating school lunches and food in the school. <laughs> we're going to what are you laughing eating? at? You already know no. that. I will no pun intended, right? Yeah. I mean, I know, I know where this economy is, and I know how this is going, and we're going to end up eating school lunches. Which is fine. I don't have any problem with it. Hey, that mac and cheese is a killer. I think it's a great idea, but I mean, I don't. Hmm. Nobody has anything to say. Brian knows. <laughs> I haven't. Well, I haven't seen the account. Uh -oh. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess that moving forward, that we're gonna get government money for it. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I don't know if it'll be how much will be enough. No. Are, are we underwater in that account right now? Of course. <laughs> we always are. Yeah. Um, okay. School lunch. Why do... Oh, I don't know. We have a... It said beginning balance of 74000 Revenue of 4000 Expenses of 12000 So it says there's a balance of 65638 so what's the uh, what's the problem? The problem is that it's October. Um, is that is that for the year? Are those numbers? Yeah, that's the report the the accountant sent out today. Mm -hmm. Special revenue report. I think most of you guys are on it. Yeah. Okay. I haven't had a chance. Yeah. No. Um, okay. Not, so I don't know what that projects out to though. Okay. Have to well, um, just food for thought. Yeah. Well, th thanks. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, okay. Um, last thoughts, last comments. Do I have wait. a motion to adjourn? No, wait. I have one more. Let's uh -oh. talk about fuel costs for town buildings moving forward. Okay. What do you want right. to say? I just want to say where, where are we going to end up with that? Fuel costs are rising everywhere. 
Yeah. Yep. We we may have to fund put some more money into that town fuels account. Well, I'm thinking of heating. Heating costs. Heating costs. Yeah, I mean, there's some of that is bid stuff, isn't it, Brian? <laughs> With a cost plus added on to it, usually. I mean, the town, the, the town. The town offices in, in the school are kind of stuck with Berkshire gas. So we're kind of at the mercy of the market, the market, the markets, the other buildings. Uh, they're pretty so, small and we don't hear yeah. very well. So. so there's no pre buy there. Yeah. No, not with Berkshire gas. Nope. We're over a barrel. Yeah. Literally. They call it a monopoly. monopoly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Bob, I I just want you to have to think about that in January. Yeah. Well, we'll be uh, Brian wearing a coat and a hat in the town hall. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got an email from uh, Nat Fortune. Uh, he has a couple of people who uh, who have expressed interest in um, in the, in the vacant seat. So um, we'll be waiting to hear from whomever they might be. So should be forthcoming. Um, all right. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion. We adjourn. Second. Second. All, right. all those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. We're done. We're out. We're out. See you guys. Bye. Thank you. Hope so. I'll see you, I'll, I'll see you on the street. All right. Yeah, you will. Have a good Go Red Sox. All right. Yep. Just starting. Keep those All bats right. hot. All right, nice timing. Hi, Brian. Hey, how are you? I couldn't open that last message you sent before. I don't know what it was. Oh, yeah. 30 your bedtime. <laughs> so I missed it. Sorry. We recorded it. Don't worry. If you're ever bored, you can watch it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. I'll see you later.